So how do you become a purposeful brand? Well, in the research that we did for the book, we identified there are three critical steps, three critical stages to becoming a purposeful brand. And the first of those is stand up. And standing up means being clear about what the brand stands for. What are your values? What's your positioning? What do you promise your customers? What are you famous for? If we think of Apple, it stood for thinking differently. And there are many other brands and we know what those brands stand for. Um, and that's the first critical thing, to have that clarity in order that you can communicate that to your customers because it becomes like a magnet for both customers and employees. When people know what you stand for, they either want to buy your products and services or they want to be associated with you because they, they identify with that, with that item, with, with that factor. The second step in becoming a purposeful brand is standing out. And standing out is about becoming distinctive and memorable in the eyes of your customer, in differentiating from your competitors in some way that is meaningful. An example of that is Metro Bank. So Metro Bank um, is different from its competitors in the financial services sector in that it is opening branches. Most of its competitors, Barclays, Lloyds, HSBC, are closing branches because they believe that customers don't want to go into the banks anymore. Well, that may be true, but Metro Bank, because it creates a great environment, a welcoming store, they call them stores, not branches, because its people uh, are so welcoming, is in fact finding that customers are happy going into their branches or their stores in order to do their banking. Whereas most banks will take days, if not weeks, to open an account, Metro Bank will do it in minutes. That difference is what creates the value for the customers. The third and final step in becoming a purposeful brand is standing firm. By that we mean creating a culture, creating a DNA for the organisation that sustains you in the long term. You only need to think of brands like John Lewis that have been successful for many years because of the reputation they have for creating great value for their customers um, and the partnership model they have with their employees. So standing firm is creating a culture that sustains you. Another example of that is Premarin. Premarin, one of the leading hotels uh, in the UK market has 700 hotels, 19,000 people and is adding a new property every 10 days. Patrick Dempsey, the managing director of Whitbread Hotels and Resorts, the owner of Premier Inn, a couple of years ago said, how do we protect this organisation as we grow? He talked about the pixie dust. We have pixie dust in this organisation that really um, delights our customers, but how do we ensure we protect that at the rate of growth we're experiencing. And the answer was to articulate and define and communicate the purpose of the organization. And that purpose is making guests feel brilliant through a great night's sleep. And Premier Inn went through an extensive campaign to communicate that purpose to all of their people and help them understand how they contributed to delivering that purpose each and every day for every one of their customers. And it's that sense of alignment that really helps to sustain success.